All right. So today I thought I'd talk about this. I gave it a few days basically, but I still see it kind of pop up here and there. Um, and people have made like different um, topics about this or like rants in their own way. Uh, and the words, the best words to describe it is rant, but it's like uh, pros and cons, right? If you don't already know, in the latest dev notes, they gave us a introduction to a new system that in my opinion, seems like it's a cool thing on paper, right? Again, I said in the original time making the video, like, yeah, this could be a cool thing. But it can also screw us. <laughs> you know what I mean? It can also screw us. So we'll see how the system turns out. Uh, but again, players were getting really mad already, uh, given the thing is not even out yet. Wait till it comes out. Plus, I think they even said multiple times they want to ask you in a survey what the best idea to approach this is. So just wait for the survey. But again, it's like, yes, this has ramifications to its uh, release, but it also could be a very fun thing. Today, let's jump into it. New to the channel, like and subscribe, helps out a ton. Let's hop into it and uh, let's check it out together. So basically, again, this was the dev notes. When I first made my video on the dev notes, I basically said it was like one of the greatest dev notes we've gotten because it's actual things that we're looking forward to, right? We've been looking forward to so many quality of life things for months now. It's been probably upwards to six months, basically waiting for quality of life changes. So again, I stand on my decision calling it the greatest patch notes. I saw a Reddit post say like, oh, the duality of uh, Nikkei content creators, because I was hyping it up. So Someone was uh, saying it was like terrible, and it was like the dual uh, duality in that. Um, I stand by it. It was the greatest. I'm lost. Uh, you can literally not say it wasn't the greatest. There was changes you waited for six months for. Six months for. You got new systems that can have a lot of fun things for the game. You got. So for me, it was definitely a very good um, dev notes, and I stand by that. Um, but yes, there's things that we'll have to see, right? So again, I didn't really jump to the conclusion that this will ruin the game just because usually Nikkei listens, whatever it is. I know to a degree, we've been waiting for content. I just decked my mic, uh, but to a degree, we've been waiting for content. But for the most part, they acknowledge our sort of feelings and be like, all right, yeah, we, we have to definitely improve the system. Sure. When it came to liberation, you saw they didn't really improve anything, correct? So it, there is a give and take here. Uh, but again, what is the system? Let me re-explain re it to you and show you what they plan. So. First, after the update, all Nikkei's will possess high quality upgrade materials being collectibles. That's again at the end of April. So during the anniversary, they're going to announce this. Once Nikkei's are equipped with collectibles, the properties that match their weapon characteristics will be enhanced. What have you waiting for? What have we been waiting for since the launch of the game? Buffing old characters. This is a system where they can tie a piece of content to it while also um, buffing characters. So it's a win-win in their book, correct? It's content and it's buffing characters. So for them, it's kind of cool. Furthermore, the collectibles of some characters who have undergone three limit breaks can be uh, upgraded to treasures. This is where the issue comes in. Three limit breaks. That's an issue. Now, what they did for the first set of characters is they released Lapless, Diesel, Frimma, and Exia. Look at it again. Diesel was for free. Frimma, again, is a standard character, someone you can get through Spear Body Shop. And Exia is a, a character you can get through, again, Spear Body Shop. Here's Lapless, the only character you can't get from the Spear Body Shop. Now, I'm telling you now. This system has the ability to be a very great system. And again, three of the characters out of the four you can get via that system. Now, the only character you can is Lapalus, who you have to dupe. If they were to take one system in the game and make it work where that system now allows you, it's one and a half years of this game. I think they can tolerate this uh, where they take that system being again, the spare body shop and allow these characters to be purchased being banner characters. Since the launch of the game, they have not updated that shop. That would be a very cool thing to allow these characters to at least be duped. But again, if that never happens, they chose to do it the way out of three out of four characters are going to be characters you can upgrade, right? Lapless is the only one which you have to pull via molds, banners, and whatnot in order to get this character. So again, that's what they did. Inherently, is this an issue? For me, if they're not doing like the newest of new Nikkei's, right? It's not really an issue. And probably even when they buff these characters, there's a lot of characters that out DPS them. So I don't see like Lapless being the new best DPS in the game. But yes, I see like an issue where players are going to be very mad that, oh, I have to dupe this character um, in order to get like the best benefit and win in solo raid and stuff like that. So it becomes more, relatively speaking, in a way, whale heavy. But again, you know, core <laughs> solo raid with all the cores and everything you're giving characters, that kind of helps. But again, you know, each their own, right? Um, but the system itself isn't flawed. It, it has potential. It does have potential, right? It's just this three dupe system is really triggering people. But again, the way that I see it is they're clearly saying the characters who currently have low activation rates. So it's characters who aren't being used, right? So they're going to take those characters, give them buffs. Okay. And you probably had time to dupe these characters. If you started us from day one, it's, it's, it's a very similar system like Grand Cross. I know there's a, another game that was mentioned originally. It's called like the fate system or something like that. It was, it was from a different game. I don't know too much about it, but I do know Grand Cross. How Grand Cross did it was the same way. If you're a starting player, you're not going to get relics. That's what it's called in that game. It's the same buff system to this. In that game, we don't have to MLB a character. We just have to beat a boss, farm the boss, 
and boom, we get it. The boss is very difficult. It's usually locked behind, like, there's, like, a character that exists, and that character is super strong for beating that boss. That's it. That's what that system is, and it's much better than MLB being a character 100%. But the thing is with this one again, that's low activation rates. It's depending on also how fast they release these characters and everything. That will definitely be the issue later on. If they just update the shop, it's going to be a much easier thing to get through. We'll see if that ever gets updated. Um, but as of right now, I just I don't think it's that much of an issue yet. We'll have to see how everything happens and then find it out. Um, again, what I would mainly say is they're only buffing Lapless being the one character. If they do this often, where they're only buffing characters that exist via like again the ability to get them to the shop then you just save your currency and buy those characters as they release right we get a lot of silver tickets it takes a little bit of time to dupe them yes but look at it right now right as my account again i didn't spend too much money in this game you know that and um i still have mlb like what blanc noir um so many characters diesels definitely um limit what is it mlb for me even court i think she's like court two or something like that uh, Lapless, 100%, I think I'm very close there, actually. So, again, for me, I'm not doing that bad in this instance. And some updates I'll win where I'll have, like, the characters maxed out versus the other ones. Yes, that's gonna be the case. I'm not a whale speaking. But if they keep doing this or they release this too often and they keep buffing newer characters, then it's an issue. If they stay true to low activation rates, if they maybe include the ability to buy these characters, it's one and a half years of this game existing, right? It kind of sucks if you can't buy the characters finally. Like, at least slowly... In, in, like introduce them into the shop that'll be a very nice thing it's still hard to get the currency so we're, like we're still actually suffering devs remember that but it's at least nice to have an ability to guarantee it it kind of sucks otherwise right but again like because for example right it's gonna put this entire new thing where it's like oh in order for me to use my relic in the future that i want for this character because i really like this character i now have to mlb it it just puts out a, a crappy sentiment in the community that's kind of what i'm trying to say but if they do introduce it where it's like lapless can be bought from the shop you know, when the anniversary happens, I think then it's a very, very good system. But again, as of right now, I'm definitely not on the uh, hatred side of it. I think this is good. I want buffs. It's, it's again, fine. It's lesser used characters, so it's not like that. And I also don't think they're going to make them meta. I just think they're going to make them usable and able to be, again, operated with, right? We'll see, though. I, I, can, I can say that now, and Laplace could be just, like, destroying. But I don't see them making the Pilgrim level, right? I definitely see them making them very good and usable, but I don't know about Pilgrim level. How that turns out but again this post really summed it up for me very well i want you to kind of read through it <laughs> it's actually a good post right uh, so any nikkei's um that gets uh or any nikkei that gets collectible system as noted in the developers uh note needs to be put in the spare body shop no exception again mainly three out of the four nikkei's are in the spare body shop already leplus isn't this could be a good system for bringing up all those old nikkei's and have them balanced and also make a use for basically ml being a character beyond just the wallpaper right that's there. It's a nice way to do it, a great way to add avenue of power. There needs to be at least a semi-consistent way of getting it, correct? Getting dupes, because right now, yeah. <laughs> Other than pulling, which I have very bad luck at most of the time, it's nothing else than that, right? Collectible acquisition sounds like it can come from the Outpost of Solar Raid, which hopefully is a consistent way to get it. We'll see when it comes around. But actually getting Laugh Plus MLB3 is just gotcha, and everybody knows how wildly inconsistent that is. So, any NK that gets this collectible thing, you gotta put them in the shop, otherwise it's stupid as hell, basically, right? Again, there's more of a personal opinion. I think it's a very common opinion with the community. Don't start slapping this under the meta uh, or new Nikkei's. They'll be kind of scummy, which again, they kind of said they wouldn't. So I'm going to uh, kind of run away from that one and plainly be pushing players to, again, MLB when the character comes out, which kind of sucks. Yeah, it's got to uh, still come on. Also, meta units don't need these buffs. It just pushes the tiers uh, out even more. They said clearly low activation rates. I'm hoping they stay true to that. Otherwise, it's pretty crappy. Yeah, they need to rework the uh, server ticket system. It's the perfect time for that, introducing a new growth mechanic after one and a half years. But if they um, really should make it uh, so it's not too much pay to win, correct? Nikkei is still generous on the side right now. Even competitively, the devs even said they don't want to put too much pressure on the players. So I really hope it's not going to ruin everything again. I'm going to be honest with you, this system has potential. It does. I don't think it's really an issue yet. It's just, you know, it would be the nicest thing ever to introduce that update system for the shop at the same time of doing this, making it easier to obtain. And if that doesn't happen, it sucks. But I think that the way that they're doing it, low activation rates, I don't think they're going to make them broken, but we'll see. And I still don't think that they're going to pick up too many of the non... Um, union sh or the non-shop characters right they picked one out of three uh, out of four this time they'll keep doing that more often there's a lot of launch nikkeis that need more help right brid and a bunch of other characters need more help than the banner characters so there is potential here the system itself is good but the things behind it we'll see if they're flawed we'll find that out soon 
correct? That's it's all wait and see. I definitely don't think they explode right now. I think when the stream comes out, they'll give an answer. They'll show us how it is because again, that's going to be the anniversary stream when this gets announced. So we'll see exactly how it turns out. It has again potential, but we'll have to wait and see. So don't get mad just yet. I definitely say get mad then when it comes out when they really screw it up. Which again, they did promise surveys to at least answer or at least get community feedback. Plus, again, they released the dev notes so much in advance, and they said multiple times it's in early development. We don't know how it's going to turn out. We don't know how the artwork's going to turn out. We don't know how anything's going to turn out. It's just in a development process. So again, if anything comes up, we can change it, right? But we'll see. So with that, I'll end the video there. Let me know what you think, your thought process on everything. But yeah, I think the system has potential and I don't hate it yet, but we will hate it soon, maybe. If they screw it up completely, I have faith. They haven't fumbled that much, right? Right? I don't know.